What's going on, guys? It's your boy Turn by Reacts here, back with another episode of Peaky Blinder. And today we're going to be doing the season finale. That is season four, episode six. We're here once again. Now, let's talk about it. So, last episode. Looks like there's going to be a big showdown at this fight. Not just the fight. But a big showdown between the Italians and the Peaky Blinders, man. So I'm wondering, it looks like Tommy and Solomons was about to meet up. I really don't think Solomons has betrayed Tommy. Um, as we saw that Luca went to get Solomons help in the last episode. But I really don't, because Solomons kept saying, this is my friend. It's my friend. We all came from here. And he, he even said at the end of that conversation, he was like, Tommy was right. You guys are going to kill us all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's the truth, man. When they come in, it's not just going to be, oh, they just don't go kill him and then walk away. They're going to want to step in and take over everything. Because, I mean, there's going to be businesses to be ran and all of this other stuff. They could take over all of that stuff, the gambling, the, uh, the, um, you know the the you know the gambling the the um the bars the, the all of this stuff that the that the Shelby's own they could come in and take over all of that stuff so um needless to say i am ready for this episode um michael is now with the gypsies under their protection um mr gold has hooked up with polly uh, it was a very weird pairing, and it, it just kind of seemed kind of forced. <laughs> I don't know if you guys felt that way, too, but I kind of felt like that was forced into the story, like they couldn't find something else to do right there. Like, you know, Polly needed to get back in touch with her gypsy roots, you know what I'm saying? And they could have done it a better way, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, other than the fact that... I don't really like seeing nobody else kissing my Polly because that's my girl in the show. Um, ever since um, Grace been out, Polly has become number one. Okay, so still, Mark, I, she's flawless. She's flawless, and for her and for her age, um, I'm I'm attracted to maturity, which is I, I guess that's a very common thing with 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 men or young men. I should say, like, you're attracted to maturity. So it's like, it's crazy. Like, you know, most men might act like they like girls who don't have no sense. But I'll tell you this. I, I, I think most men are attracted to women with, you know, they got a little something, something up there. You know what I'm saying? So I, um, that's just my opinion. So let's jump into this, man, and see what happens. Hopefully, we already lost the major character in the show I think this season, I, I, I really don't want to see anybody else die um, this season. So we're going to jump in, see what happens. Um, hopefully, it, you know what I'm saying, that nobody dies. <laughs> so let's go watch this, man. I'm going to aim for 20 likes on this video, okay? So just like the video before you go watch. Then we'll come back and we'll discuss for the review. All right, uh, so here we are, here we are, here we are, man. Season four is done, and oh my god, this was amazing. Season four was amazing. I don't think it's the best, but I think it's up there. I think it's probably my favorite. I think it's probably my second favorite season of the show. Um... Reason being, excellent performances all around from heroes to villains. Um, just excellent performances from, I think, the strongest performance this season was definitely Arthur. And I'm going to tell you guys why I believe he had the strongest performance this season. Don't get me wrong, Tommy is still my favorite character on the show. But I think Arthur, the, the his journey... For these six, for for these six episode was very very widespread, and he had to play so many different 
kind of characters because remember at one point he wasn't drinking and smoking and then the minute he's drinking and smoking he had to play the 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 understanding part he, his range was incredible this season you guys might agree to disagree on that but it's just my opinion i think he had the strongest performance for the season um Luca's performance was good, but it kind of fell off in the latter end. Like I think in the last ep in in episode five and six, six is his performance wasn't that strong as when he just appeared. Like when he when he just appeared, um, his performance was his acting was on point. Like you felt his presence when he was there. But I think he doesn't play losing his cool very good. Like he kind of that italian coolness just wasn't there in the final two episodes i think um i believe so um ada had a very strong performance this season too i'm glad that she's back with the family and not somewhere else you know doing shelby business um so all of that was all good uh, I, I mean i love her character i love all the shelby's i Everybody that's around the Shelby family, even Curly, they do their job very well. Um, but man, that was pretty cool that they mentioned Al Capone because I was saying, oh, Chicago liquor license, um, like that wrong Al Capone bell like no other. Because when you're talking about people that they that the that they the italians in new york might know of and you know warren families italians whatever you're always going to think al capone because al capone is probably the most famous italian to ever live he was a real life character just like um just like um escobar um, Pab um pablo escobar um you're talking about um nat turner um just infamous gangsters that you know about that lived in real life you know what i'm saying um so um al capone was one of those one of those guys um so that was very cool that they mentioned him i don't know if he's gonna be in the next season or not um that would be cool um but it's just it's just awesome the setting everything that they did this season was very good you get what i'm saying like it was it was up there it, w it was up there very strong performances polly had a very strong performance this season too um michael not so much he didn't get a lot of screen time to be honest um you know buddy buddy he was there when he was on screen you felt him so definitely shout out to michael he did a very good job with that character okay so um this episode that we just watched the finale of season four um they definitely wrapped everything up in a bow um going on next um as i said man it was very hard um if you were fooled by that don't worry you know what i'm saying is is no big deal they did it to fool you so if you got food, it's no, it's no big deal. I wasn't believing it for a second because I was like, it's no way they're going to, why would you, why would you kill Arthur and let it mean nothing? Cause it didn't really mean anything like him dying like that, like with a getting choked out and then Tommy comes and basically save him from getting a fatal shot because that's how i was looking at it. i was like okay tommy's here tommy saved him but then tommy went to him and was like dude if you find out arthur is dead why aren't you hollering why aren't you calling for help why you go out there and stop polly from going into the bathroom why tell her to go tell linda and then linda linda's reaction is meh you know what i'm saying like it just did the scenarios just didn't fit and that's why i didn't believe it and it turns out i was right arthur was still alive they were just playing them for a fool and they really strung it along don't get me wrong they really strung it out for you to actually believe that arthur was dead and they really are going to lose everything till i till at one point i started to believe okay so i guess this is going to lead into next season with them coming back with a vengeance kind of reminds me of what happened in um oh my god what is the name of that show again mm. 
what is the name of that show, man? When they lost everything, and then they came back the next season and try to take back everything. Um, uh, I don't remember what show it was. <laughs> I don't remember the show, but I um right now maybe i'll remember by the time i react to the next episode um but it, it it's i was starting to believe that that's where they were going with the with the show but it turns out that arthur was alive they played luca they basically send michael to new york to make this deal but they still but michael was still playing it as if arthur like he just finding out that Arthur is dead. They they like playing playing us the audience because we didn't know what was going on. Why did they send the Michael? They made it seem like they were just sending Michael to New York just be, to to just run the New York business. But I'm like that still don't make no damn sense. Why would you be sending Michael to New York to the Italians base? Why would you send him there? You get what I'm saying? Um. Um. When we didn't even know at that point in the show. We didn't even know about the deal that they were going to that they were going to make, as in giving up all your properties. Because I don't think I don't think Luca's mom had visited them yet. I don't think it was after that. After they sent Michael away, I think it was that happened. I don't remember the the, the order of things happening, but I think it was after they sent away Michael that the mom came to visit at the funeral and stuff because Michael wasn't even there for the funeral. Right. He wasn't even there for the funeral, the fake funeral that they had. So pretty cool stuff, man. I'm really I really, 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 really love how they wrapped up the season. Now Tommy is in Parliament. He's a government official now. He's basically I want to say on at the bare minimum, he's untouchable because now him owning all those businesses now he's an, a government official. Now it's going to be very hard for some rival gang to come in and be like, oh, I'm going to kill you. No, the family is basically protected now. They're insulated. So in not so many, you know, good ways, a lot of times, you know, you, I really have to look at it and be like, Tommy really does love his family. He just, he's just terrible at showing, at, 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 you know, showing that all the time he's just terrible at it so that's just how it is doesn't seem like linda is happy that arthur is staying tommy did give arthur a choice to leave and he chose to stay you know already that arthur is basically the heart and soul of peaky blinders i just don't like seeing him on the drugs and the booze because at the end of the day he is the he's the tough guy he's the dog you get what I'm saying? He's the guard dog of the family. Um, it, John was the wannabe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Still sad that we lost him, but, you know, um, Finn, it looked like he got his initiation by using his razors to cut that guy's eyes out. So they ain't playing no games now. Everybody got blood on their hands. Um, so maybe not Ada yet. Yeah, I don't think Ada's. Yeah. So definitely great, 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 great season, man. As I said, it's not my favorite, but it's definitely my second favorite. I think I like this better than season three and season one. Season two is my favorite season of Peaky Blinders um, because there was there were so many good and it was such a roller coaster for six episodes. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, so it, it, it was just cool. Plus we still had grace on the show in season two. So I was loving it. It's my favorite season of the show. Um, Polly became the, the OG Peaky Blinder in, in season two. So showed us who she really is out in these Peaky Blinder streets. You know what I'm saying? So I love there for that. Hope you guys checked out this review, man. If you last all the way to the end of my review, make sure you hit that like button if you have not done it yet. And also leave a comment in the comment section, man. Let me know what's your favorite season of Peaky Blinders so far. Now that season five has started, let me know what season was your favorite in order. If you want to do all four, um, just let me know in the comment section. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.